We, we got a few good shots that weren't falling. Um, I do feel like we weren't quite in a flow, which is a lot of the reason why they don't fall. Uh, we used to getting them uh, in kind of a flow of our offense. I think the shots just feel a little bit better. Uh, and we were just a little off kind of all night. And, and that's I think, part of the reason for the poor shooting percentage. But um, yeah, we did have some that we missed that we shouldn't make. Looked like they were effective in extending the zone uh, and then at the same time, cutting off lanes for penetration or just kind of yeah. being athletic. They did a good job of keeping us out of the paint and, and we didn't do enough of a job of cutting and getting movement um, in order to open up some lanes. Um, you know, really, we just, I just felt like we were stagnant and, and didn't play very well. Coach, with this long road trip, how much do you think that affected the team tonight? Uh, you, you know, we felt flat, and I don't know if, if that was from fatigue or what. Um, it is a long, you know, November was a long month, and, and the semester is coming to a close, so there's a, there's a little bit of that. Um, but you know what, they're going through the same thing, and, and they just had a little bit more than we did tonight. Um, and, you know, I do, you have to say that uh, might be some of it. That's, that's a little bit of the road trip woes and, and, and some travel woes, but, uh, you know, for the most part, I just felt like we were a little flat. The decision of starting Emily Simons tonight, how, what was the effect of that? Um, they do five out, and we wanted to, to do some things switching, and what, it, what we did was not kind of what we were planning on doing in terms of how aggressive we were going to switch onto it. Um, Emily was able to find the basket, which was good. Um, and we felt like we could still rebound with them, which we did. Uh, we were out rebounding pretty well in that first half. Uh, they came back on us in the second half. But um, we weren't as aggressive with the lineup we put in as we wanted to be. Um, you started Aaron, Aaron Butler hit the first two three-pointers of the game, and after that they pretty much shut her down. What were they doing on defense that was really making her ineffective? Um, I thought it was a lot of us. We, we really didn't move the ball, swing the ball. Uh, they did a good job defensively, and they switched some things up. They did a triangle on two a couple of times that uh, I thought we were pretty decently effective at. Um, but truthfully, on offense, we didn't move the ball the way we had been. Uh, and that's, you know, we're better when we share the ball. Uh, and so we got stuck on the right-hand side of the court a little bit too much. You guys switched to a more of a press defense at some points throughout the game. Mm -hmm. Did their quickness affect that to change back to more of a half-court press? Uh, it was a little bit of their quickness and a little bit of just uh, we were out of place a couple times. Positives for Pacific, what, what, are, what are some things that we could take away from this? Uh, we did get back on the rebounding um, train that we've been on. We've been rebounding well as a team and we did that a little bit better. Um, but truthfully, we didn't, you know, when you don't play very well, you have to regroup. And, and we've got, you know, a very good team that we're going down to see on Saturday. So we're going to have to regroup and, and come out ready to go. After that, you come home for, for a few games. How nice is that going to be for you? Uh, hopefully it's good. We haven't played well at home in the last two, you know, we've played better on the road. So hopefully we can figure it out and, and play well here. Haley, overall performance of the night, how'd you feel? Um, I think our team showed, you know, good signs and, and bad signs. I don't know, not bad signs, but um, I think we just didn't do a very good job of you know keeping our momentum when we had it. Um, I think we did a good job um, on defense in certain possessions, and if we had found a way to string it together, I think it would have helped us with some momentum and kind of building a lead that we were so desperately trying to get the whole game. You guys traveled roughly around 7,000 miles in this six-game road trip, mm -hmm. finally getting home. Did that really have any effect on you, or did it start to affect you as the game went on? Um, no, I don't think, I think the uh, road trip and um, that experience is a great experience that we had. Um, it's good for our team mentally and, you know, we're going to need to do it for conference. I think uh, we're a young team, so they don't really, it's uh, not fully understood that when we come home, it's a, it's a big advantage and we need to take, uh, take advantage of it. Um, so I think maybe we might be a little bit harder on ourselves than we had to, uh, maybe just used to being on the road, coming home, you know, probably being on the road again, you never know. But. Uh, but I think it just had to do with our, um, our youth a little bit. When you guys finally got home, did you guys feel a little bit more relieved and kind of in the flow, or was it just kind of awkward since you've been on the road so much? No, it was, we were all very happy to get back uh, after our road trip. I think uh, it puts things in perspective for the rest of our season that we're not going to have another long road trip like that at all. So everything you know, is going to be kind of walking apart when it comes to traveling from here on out. You guys played a great team, 5-1 on the season to start off. 
you guys were four and two. How do you rank yourselves, compare yourself to somebody to a team like that that is obviously is a good team? Yeah, yeah, Long Beach is definitely a good team. I think we're right there up there with them for, uh, with our ability and our athleticism and. Uh, the way we play as a team tonight, we ne didn't necessarily put it all together, but I would have, you know, um, marked that against us. We're still young, we're still learning, and we still have a whole conference to play. So right now, this is where we need to work on ourselves and get better. Final quarter, you scored 12 points all on your own. You, in fact, at one point, you scored seven of the Tigers' points straight. What were they giving you, and what did you see to take advantage of that? Um, I think honestly, it's when we move the ball on offense and work together as a team. Open shots are available, and and I my shot just started falling. Honestly, um, uh, it was just you know kickouts and you know over playing on defense and reading what they what they give you. But um, it wasn't anything in particular other than my shot just started falling. As one of the seniors on the team, what are you focused on next to get everybody rolling on the same page for this next? small road trip and then coming back home for a few games? I think it's just make sure, making sure that mentally we can get past this, not the end of the world, learn from our mistakes and move on and make sure we get back on the winning train. That road trip, did it go as, as you kind of expected? Four and two is not a, not, nothing to scoff at. Uh, not terrible. Um, I think, you know, after we uh, beat some big teams in, uh, on the East Coast or in South North Carolina, um, I think we kind of got some confidence on ourselves, and you know, I think we also know that we could have beaten a couple of the other teams that we played on the road. But um, you know, once again, just learning experience and got to move on and on to the next. What was an experience like that playing in Chapel Hill? It was awesome. It was really cool. You know, growing up, I got to watch Ivory Lot of play, watching on the Sweet Sixteen, Elite Eight. You know, they're a, it's an amazing program, men's and women. So playing, being able to play a collegiate game in that um, facility, or you know, play at school is definitely gonna be something I'll remember for. Rest of my life. Moving on, what do you got to work on in order to help the Tigers succeed for the rest of the season? Uh, you know, just stay focused, stay hungry, uh, know that you know our ultimate goal is you know winning the WCC championship, you know going getting the NCAA tournament. That's all you know. Still, such a big part of like what we're working for, and we're you know on that road to getting there. So it's still a long journey, and little bumps are going to happen on the way, but you know it's not going to um, ultimately you know. We want our chance to do anything that we've been working for so far.